During Shakespeare's era, New Place is still situated very much in the commercial heart of the town and the seat of government. The buildings uh, behind me uh, incorporate the Guild Chapel, where the Guild of the Holy Cross were responsible for running the trade guilds, but they also had a philanthropic side. They opened the hospital, they founded King Edward's School, and they opened the almshouses. That was where the government of Stratford-upon-Avon sat in the Guild Hall and John Shakespeare, Shakespeare's father, would have been very familiar with that. There was a white cross at the intersection of the four roads just behind me, outside of the Guild Chapel, a new place sat right next to that location. So its position was very much in the heart of things, both commercially and from the point of view of the business of governing Stratford. Shakespeare's process of beautifying and enhancing this house started in 1597 when he purchased it, but continued right into the Jacobean period. He would have been bringing in the latest fashions and the latest architectural enhancements to make this a comfortable and practical house. And I should mention the grounds because he extended the lease, so he had control over more land, and he turned that to a useful function. Orchards at the top end and cattle grazing at the lower end.